let us look at this a police is trying to catch the thief now will the police always be able to catch the thief let us consider different cases let us say that the thief is running at a greater speed than the police so let's look at this case where the thief is running at a greater speed than the police so the distance between the two is increasing and the police is unable to catch the thief this is from the top view so what we can see is that when the thief is running at a greater speed the police is unable to catch the thief now let's look at it from the top view what we'd seen is this is the place from where they started this is the initial position this red symbol indicates the position of police and this blue one is the position of the thief now the thief was running at a greater speed after some time we found that the distance between the two have increased this is the police here the thief here which is running at a greater speed further after some more time what i observed is that the distance again has increased further so what we have seen is over the time what is happening is that the distance between the two is increasing so if the distance is increasing the police will not be able to catch the thief so now let's consider another case in which the police is running at the same speed as the thief both of them are running at the same speed and are some distance away let's see whether now the police can catch the thief or not so both of them are running at the same speed and the distance remains the same let us this this is the initial position police here the thief here both of them are running at the same speed after some time this is what i observed again the same distance between the two after some more time this is the position both of them have moved forward but the distance between the two has still remained the same so what we can see is that when both of them are running at the same speed though they are moving forward but the distance between the two always remains the same and hence the police cannot catch the thief now there's another case the police can run at a greater speed than the thief let's say that the police is running at a greater speed than the thief in this case we observe that the police is able to catch the thief so the thief is caught in this case so let's look at from the top view what we see this is the initial position let's say they are this distance apart this is the police this is the thief now the police was running at a greater speed than the thief after some time what i observed is this was the initial distance after some time now this distance decreased they came closer that is the distance has decreased so they have moved forward both of them but the distance between the two have decreased further after some more time what i observed is again they have moved forward but the distance has again reduced so what we see is that the distance between the two when the police is running at a greater speed decreases the distance between the two decreases and we've seen in the video that the police is in fact able to catch the thief so the police in this case can catch the thief so let's say the police is running at a speed of x kilometers per hour and the thief is running at a speed of y kilometers per hour and there is some distance between them let's say that the distance is d now both of them are moving in the same direction when can the police catch the thief we've just seen that the police can catch the thief only when the police which is x kilometers per hour that is the speed of the police is greater than the speed of the thief which is y kilometers per hour that is only when x is greater than y that is the speed of the police is greater than the speed of the thief can the thief be caught
So this is the condition to catch the thief if both of them are moving in the same direction. So now we know that x has to be greater than y. So now let's consider a case where x is greater than y. Let's give them some values and consider it. Let's say that this police is running at 70 kilometers per hour and the thief is running at 50 kilometers per hour. So now x is greater than y. That is the speed of the police is greater than the speed of the thief. So the police would be able to catch the thief. Now the distance between the two initially is 100 kilometers. Now I want to see when will the thief be caught. So after how long can the police be able to catch this thief. Let's look at that now. So this is the top view. So after one hour you observe that the distance is decreased. This is what happens after two hours. After three hours further the distance has decreased. Again after four hours. And after five hours we see that the police has actually caught the thief. So this was the initial position, the police which is running at 70 kilometers per hour, the thief running at 50 kilometers per hour and they are 100 kilometers apart. Now after one hour what we observed is, again the speed is the same for both of them but the distance which was 100 is now just 80. That is the distance has decreased by 20 kilometers in one hour. So in one hour the distance decreased by 20 kilometers. That is they have moved only 20 kilometers in an hour. They have moved forward but relatively they have just moved 20 kilometers forward in an hour. That is the distance decreased by just 20 kilometers in an hour. Now after 2 hours what happens? So from 80 now the distance is 60. Both of them are running at same speed which is 70 kilometers per hour and 50 kilometers per hour. But now the distance is 60. That is the distance again in an hour reduced by 20. It was 80 kilometers after one hour. It was 80 kilometers after one hour. Now after two hours it is 60 kilometers. So distance has further decreased by 20 kilometers in one hour. Now let's look at what happens after three hours. Again the distance has decreased by 20. So in two hours it was 60 and in three hours it is 40 kilometers. That is in one hour the distance is further decreased by 20 kilometers. So what we can say is again the distance has decreased after another hour again the distance decreases by 20 kilometers. So what we see is that in every hour the distance is decreasing by 20 kilometers. That is the distance traveled per hour is 20 kilometers. The relatively the distance that they are traveling is just 20 kilometers in an hour. And this rate of distance traveled is what we call as speed. So speed is nothing but the distance traveled per unit time. So we have per hour that is per unit time. This is the distance that is traveling. That is its speed. So speed is 20 kilometers per hour. But what is the speed now? We know the speed of the police is 70 kilometers per hour. We know that the speed of the thief is 50 kilometers per hour. So what is this 20 kilometers per hour? What speed is this indicating? Well, this distance is not the distance they are apart. This 20 kilometers actually represents the relative distance that they are covering. And similarly, this speed is nothing but the relative speed of both of them. So we call this as relative speed. That is both of them are moving forward but how much distance is being covered in an hour is 20 which is the relative distance and 20 kilometers per hour becomes the relative speed. Now how do we get this 20 actually? If you look at both these speeds, now subtraction of these two would give me 20. So this relative speed here is nothing but the difference of speeds. which we get. So what we can say is when two objects are moving in the same direction with different speeds, 
then the relative speed is nothing but the difference of the speeds which is 70 minus 50 which is 20 kilometers per hour and it, to catch the object in front the object behind should be of greater speed than this so the police has to be of greater speed to catch the thief and the relative speed is nothing but the difference of speeds so this is what we get that when two objects are moving in the same direction both of them are moving in the same direction with speeds x and y then the relative speed is nothing but the difference of speeds which is x minus y kilometers per hour so now let's look at this we've already seen when the police was running at 70 kilometers per hour and the thief was running at 50 kilometers per hour with an initial distance of 100 kilometers the police is able to catch the thief now let's try to solve this mathematically that is how much time will it take for the police to catch the thief what we know is that the distance between the two is 100 kilometers also both of them are moving in the same direction so if they are moving in the same direction the relative speed relative speed would be the difference of two which is 70 minus 50 kilometers per hour so the relative speed comes out to be 20 kilometers per hour and what we know is that the distance between the two is 100 kilometers so this is the two things which we know what we want to find is the time taken by the police to catch this thief so time is nothing but distance by speed if distance is d and speed is s then i can say the time which is t is d by s so time is distance by speed distance we know is 100 kilometers and speed is the relative speed which is 20 kilometers per hour so this gives me five hours that is it would take the time is five hours that is it would take five hours to catch the thief which we'd already seen that after five hours the police was able to catch the thief so this was only after five hours we'd already seen that now we've already seen what happens when both of them that is the police and the thief are moving in the same direction now what happens is this police alerts another police station and tells him that the thief is moving forward so what happens is the police station sends a police and traces the thief backward so we have this thief in the center and the police is running at the thief from both the directions so both of them are moving in the same direction whereas here the police and the thief are in opposite directions the police in either case is running at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour whereas the thief is running at 50 kilometers per hour let us assume that initially the distance between the two is the same which is here also we have 400 kilometers and here again we have 400 kilometers let us see what happens the police is running from both the directions and this police is able to catch the thief the one who was running in the opposite direction is able to catch the thief now let's try to understand this situation from top view police both of them are running at 100 kilometers per hour the distance between the police and the thief is 400 kilometers in either case and the thief is running at 50 kilometers per hour so this is what happens after one hour distance becomes 350 in this case and 250 in the other case now this is the position after two hours and we see that after two hours some more time it takes to catch the thief so this was the initial position wherein this is the police this is the second police this is the thief now this police and thief are running in the same direction here we can see that the police and thief are running in opposite directions the distance is 400 first let's understand the positions of the two after an hour so this is 400 and 400 what happens after an hour after an hour this becomes 350 this becomes 250 
that is here the distance decreased by 50 because it was 400 initially so the distance decreased by 50 350 what about this initially 400 and now 250 so the distance decreased by 115 1 hour so what we can see is that when they are running in the same direction the distance decreased by 50 kilometers in an hour. But when the police and the thief are running in opposite directions, the distance has decreased by 150 kilometers in an hour. Now, let's see whether this happens after the second hour also. So, this is after second hour, after two hours. What happens is, this becomes 300, this becomes 100 distance here. So, if you look at after one hour, this was 350. And 250, now it is 300 and 100. That is from 350, it becomes 300. So distance again has decreased by 50. And initially, after 1 hour, it was 250. And after 2 hours, it is just 100. So the distance decreased by 150 in an hour. So again, what I can say is that here the distance has decreased by 50 kilometers in 1 hour. Whereas here, the distance has decreased by 150 kilometers in an hour. So now what is this? The relative distance or I can talk about relative speed, 50 kilometers in 1 hour. So that gives me that relative speed in this case is 50 kilometers per hour when both of them are moving in same direction. And when they are moving in opposite direction, this is the relative distance which is decreasing by 150 kilometers in 1 hour. So the relative speed can be said to be 150 kilometers per hour. So I get the relative speed. Now I already have seen this that when two objects move in the same direction, the relative speed which is 50 is nothing but the difference of speeds. So this is 100 minus 50 which is 50. So here I get that this is nothing but difference of speeds. What about relative speed in this case? I get 150. Now what is this? Both of them are moving in opposite directions. So this 150 here indicates the sum of the speeds which is 100 plus 50. So I get this as the sum of speeds. So what I observe is that when they are moving in same direction, the relative speed is the difference of speeds and when they are moving in opposite directions, the relative speed is nothing but the sum of their speeds. So this is what we've seen. When the two objects are moving in the same direction with speeds of x kilometers per hour and y kilometers per hour, then the relative speed is nothing but difference of speeds, which is x minus y kilometers per hour. And when the objects move in opposite directions, let's say the police is running at x kilometers and the thief is running with y kilometers speed, in opposite directions, then the relative speed becomes the sum of speeds that is x plus y kilometers per hour.